Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing another never too small build I'm excited. I haven't uploaded one of these in a couple of weeks just because I have been focusing on my other Let's Plays And I know I haven't been the best with uploading on Sundays like I said I would But you know, I've been having trouble uploading on the weekends because when the weekend hits I am just mentally checked out and yeah, but I appreciate you guys being patient with me while I figure out my schedule and all that stuff. Anyway, so yes, we are doing another tiny home build. This is your first tiny home build that you're seeing of mine. It is a new series that I'm doing on my channel where we recreate homes from this YouTube channel called Never Too Small. They pretty much tour super tiny homes and apartments that have smart ways for storage and like multi-use objects and yeah, I'm sure you guys are so tired of hearing me say this at, at the beginning of every video, but I need to I need to provide some context for someone who's never seen these videos before, so I'm sorry. But yeah, I watch this YouTube channel all the time and it really inspires me, and so I was like, you know what, I'm, I really want to make some of these houses in The Sims. So, that's what we're doing. Today we are doing a uh, home called Boho Japanese Micro London Apartment. That is quite the mouthful. I don't have a drink today, you guys. I have water just because I am pre-filming all my videos and I've already had an energy drink today and I'm trying to be better about having two a day. So yeah, I'm pre-filming all my videos because I'm going out of town for my birthday next week and I'm very excited, but since I'm pre-filming, that means I can't have an energy drink per video. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's get into the build, shall we? Okay, here we are on Never Too Small's YouTube channel. This is the floor plan. So we've got a little two-story action going on here. It's not really two stories. Uh, you guys will see it later, but this is the first floor. And then there's like a small little stairwell that goes up to like a bed pod. It's like a very small space that only fits a bed. And then these two storage thingies over here, it's just like a super high storage that you can access from the first floor. So it's not really a two story house. It's more of like a loft situation. So here's where you walk in. It's a really beautiful apartment, very uh, clean with some boho elements, which is definitely my style. Love, love, love this. I love like the, the shelving unit there. I love all the natural textures and the pops of color and the little like nook right there is so cute. I feel like if I lived in a tiny home, this is how I would want it to look. Like super simple, but also like really cute with like some color and some textures of course, but yeah, like that kitchen, Mwah. gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> so this is where the bed is. So I don't know how I'm really gonna do this in The Sims, but I'm gonna give it a shot. There's like sliding doors that open up to this little tiny stairwell. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, but um, it's fine. And then like the open, or the top also opens up. So like when you're laying in bed, you can have that open. It's giving me a good idea of putting like windows right there where the bed is to like look down into the living room. I think that would be really cool. But see what I mean about those stairs? They're so tiny. <clears throat> and then here is the bedroom, super plain. This is gonna take me like five seconds. There's literally, there's no decoration at all. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, there's a book, just kidding. And then here is the bathroom. Again, very plain, but very beautiful. That should be uh, pretty simple as well. I think that the main attraction to this this specific home is the bed nook with the windows and then the, that cute little living room with all the colors and the textures. This will be a perfect house for a single sim. Yeah, I, I'm really excited to build this. So the lot that I chose to build on today is called Piccola Luce in Tartosa. It's really cute. It's very, uh, oops. <laughs> It's very secluded, which I like. It's got a very nice driveway. I don't know, I just feel like it uh, fits the vibes of the house. So, let's get to work on this floor plan, shall we? This is my least favorite part, I have to say. Upstairs, there is the bed nook area, so it's going to be it's an interesting uh, shape of a house, but I kind of like it if I'm being honest. Let me see if a bed will fit in there just to make sure before we move on. It should be fine. Maybe we should extend it. Uno mas style. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this one needs to extend out as well. Okay, there is our house. And the funny thing is the front door is going to be over here. I'm wondering, should we rotate the house? I actually, 
I'm a fan of the way it looks like this, so I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, I forgot to mention also, I like to make these lots tiny homes. Too many tiles, oh no. Alrighty, I got the floor plan all figured out. We are good to go. So, the floors are white, the walls are white. I feel like everything is white. I love these floors. I know it's not the same as the floors in the video, but uh, we don't exactly do things exact. We just take inspiration from the video, you know what I mean? Tell the beans. Okay, so for the counters, they are wood, very light wood with a white top. I think this uh, kitchen might be too wide, but you know what? I think that's okay. What is this called? A Lennox kitchen. Okay, so we need Lennox kitchen cabinets as well. Okay, and then we need a little kettle coffee pot and that is it for the kitchen which is uh <laughs> honestly crazy that took no time at all oh i think i'm gonna use this jasmine tea set by peacemaker actually this is so beautiful okay and then we just need some lighting underneath the cabinets and that'll do it <laughs> yeah that looks quite nice very luxurious and i think if i were in game i would probably um change like the light color to yellow so it's more calming Okie dokie. Next order of business is going to be the dining table. It's just a light wood. Very simple. I know that I know for a fact we have these white chairs in the game as well. <gasps> Sorry. Bye-bye. This is it. This is the one. This is um who is this? Ah, Felix Andre and Harry. Highly recommend. Mmm. We have these ones by Sim Credible. They're perfect they are exactly what we need for this build they're just very alpha but hey i'll do it for the build you know what i'm saying i'll do it for the build there's nothing on the table oh no so plain there is a nice big window right here though it's okay let's move on to the little seating area living room it's super cute i think i might uh, change the floor in here. Maybe I should just change all the floors. Oh no. This one's really nice. This is by uh, Pierre Sim. This is the MCM floor. Very similar to Eco. Almost no difference. Okay, I'm gonna stick two of the same cabinets that are in the kitchen over here in this nook. I think I might change the color though. Okay, there's the little nook for all the decorations. We're gonna put a a, f a little painting right there. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's see that. Against the wall right here, there is couch. There is couch. The couch is, um, it's like a beanbag chair. I don't think I have anything like that, but I do have these really cute couches that um, look like bubbles. I'll show you. Her hot dogs or sausages. The, this. That could be a good substitution or we can do this one the couch color is like a foresty green yeah i feel like we might get away with just moving everything in maybe like let me see yeah that feels a bit more uh normal sized to me I don't know if that makes any sense, but this kitchen just felt way too large. All right, we need a round a jute rug. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, plants. Plants and little seats. This is such a cute little area. I'm curious if any of you guys have tried doing your own ever too small builds. If you have, let me know in the comments. Let me know which ones you did. Okay, over here we've got a... Ooh, that's so cute. It's like a poof. It's bright orange and it has some patterns on it. Ain't no way we gonna have that. I might just need to use those. Maybe this even? The pillows or this pattern ottoman. Shoot. I think the pattern ottoman because it's got patterns on it, you know? And it adds some interest to the room. Okay, and then next to this chair, there's a little tiny end table. Okay. 
Looking pretty good. There's no blinds on the windows or anything, which is a little weird, I will not lie. There's a sing... Is there a pillow on the couch? Yes, a singular pillow on the couch. Now I have to clutter. I don't want to clutter. God, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Maybe if Shelves in the Sims had infinite slots and it wasn't so hard to put things on shelves and if every everything went on a shelf, you know what I mean? Not just specific things. Okay, there we go. All nice and cluttered. I'm actually satisfied with this. It doesn't look too terrible. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to put windows here along this wall so that you could see out into the living room from the bedroom. I think that would be really nice. Probably eco windows, so it's floor to ceiling. I wish we had a sliding door in the game that didn't have glass. Oh, we do. It's this one from Snowy Scape. Yeah, so you slide open the door to get to the stair, or the ladder, I mean. I think my favorite uh, bed to use for these builds, because the bed is always so simple and minimal, I always go for the brown, or the, the country double bed base by Harry. It's just, it's like the most simple, simplest bed frame. And then you grab like the, cause when you, when you usually get CC beds, you get like two pieces so you can mix and match. My favorite bedding to use is by Peacemaker. Modest, luxurious bedding. It's just so nice. Also, yeah, modern, luxurious bedding version one is nice too. Oh, these beddings are cute. Harlux bedding blanket. Oh, oh my God. I love the swatches so much. It's so funny. Like, I'm dying to use color. <laughs> you know what would be really cool is if you could see out when you're just like laying in bed. I think what I want to do is grab those panels from Island Living. It is the crystal clear panels. So you can use them on the floor of things to kind of give it a glass roof without it actually being a roof. I think I just want to have it over the bedroom. So we're just going to do these four right here. See, that's so cute. It's such a vibe. Maybe we should flip the bed around this way. And then we can put a plant in the corner and some blinds, maybe curtains. I don't know. I think there's maybe too many windows to, for curtains to look good. But let's, I'm very much uh, changing the build here just because it's so plain up by the bed. We need a little bit of something something, you know? Okie dokie, bedroom is done. So I'm, this space right here in the actual build is a storage area, but could totally get away with it being a second bedroom or even just like a skill room. Let's add another door here. You know why I forget something in each of these builds? It's because all the appliances in these builds are hidden. And so my brain isn't even thinking about getting an appliance. <laughs> I almost forgot the fridge again, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, let's move on to the bathroom. The bathroom is super plain. We just have, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's just like stone, like the prettiest white stone. So what I like to do is just grab a wall shower and then grab any glass divider that you have. Mine are by Pierre Sim in the MCM collection. Just take a couple and place them side by side. Come in different colors too, which I think is so cool. Pierre Sim really be doing the most. And then right here is just a sink. Man, that is a nice bathroom. <laughs> Oh, so bougie. Over on this side, we have a heated towel rack. I've noticed that like heated towel racks aren't a thing here, but they're 100% a thing in the UK. Do you guys have a heated towel rack? I think we need to liven it up in here, don't we? I can't help myself. I love these lush pots. They're so cute. I think these are by Lil Dika. And they're stackable. Oh, there's a window in here. It's a little weird that there's a window like right here in the shower, but okie dokie, what's next? What's next, what's next? I think that's it. I think that is everything for in here. Uh, what I will do though is add another bedroom here just so that there's something in here, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what we could do? We could just make this an office. We can make it a nice office. I'm gonna make it a cute little boho office. Okay, there we go. A cute little boho office. I'm obsessed with it. I also added an accent wall in here because I felt like it was way too plain. 
added an accent wall here and I added an accent wall inside of there as well coming along it's coming along it's coming along now I do like it and I do think that we were able to uh, make it very similar to how it is but it needs something it needs some spice that's cute really like this wall tile by ravishin it's super cute well i think i'm gonna put a plant in this corner and call it a day for the inside all right and now for the worst part the exterior Alright guys, here we are. We are all finished. The exterior is very, um, it's very lush. I like it a lot. I'm just now noticing it's very patchy right here, but I will fix that. Uh, <laughs> I feel I spend so much time on the interior and then I get to the exterior and I'm just like so tired at that point. So I kind of maybe rushed it, but hey, it still looks good. I think it still looks okay. We are here with Devin. Uh, she is one of my Sims that I did a Twitch series with, one of my favorite Sims ever. She's going to be living in this lovely home. We are going to follow her in and have a look at everything. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Go to the computer, watch. I like to move Innocent into the home just to make sure that everything works. Oh, she's not going to the computer. She's going to read a book. Good for you. Okay, so here we are. Here's the home, uh, dining room, cute little kitchen. This kitchen is actually adorable. It looks very um, not lived in yet, but I feel like it could definitely be grown into. It's a nice base our bins over here and our cute little living room oh I love this I love this a lot I think maybe it might look better with um, oh I need to fix that light look better with uh, blinds or curtains but yeah it's kind of cool that you can like see up there into to the bedroom so through this door is the ladder to go up to the bedroom and then over here we have the office so cute this is the room that i winged <laughs> oh no so many things i have to fix uh through this door that's the fridge right there through this door we have the bathroom Ooh. Yeah, it's quite nice in here. I like, I actually really do like this big window. Oh my gosh, and look at that view. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not like anyone's gonna be out there. Oh, we need to move the mailbox. Oh my God, I totally blanked on what that was called. <laughs> now let's head upstairs into the bedroom. Upstairs we go, we're climbing the ladder, baby. Uh, turning around and here is the bedroom. Super cute. You can see, oh. Nice. I put the light in the right spot. Uh, you can see up into the stars if you wanted to. It's kind of a cloudy day, but you know, when it's a nice day, it'll be real nice. God, this lot is absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, I also um, made a little outdoor area. There's a ladder to get up here, a little seating. Oh my God, how nice. How nice. A little vertical garden. You can get up there if you wanted to. I'm not really sure why you would want to, but... Uh, we've got a grill. Oh my goodness. This though, this is a whole mood.
Well, that's a wrap on Never Too Small numbers up four or five. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. My next video will be on Sunday and it is going to be High School Rags to Riches. So I'll see you guys there. I hope that you're having an incredible week. And if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I'll see you in the next one.